Hey YouTube, it's been a couple months since I've done an acquisitions video and so I've been working a little bit on aspects of the collection that has been reviewed for quite some time, but since I like these pens and pencils so much, I want to go ahead and showcase some of the stuff that I've uh, gotten to round out my collection. And first thing that I want to show off today is that I finally finished my retail set of P200 series pencils. These are all just the most basic general P200 series pencils that are available at retail like art stores in the US. With the exception of the one here on the bottom, this brown P203. Yeah, they make a P203. This is the only P203 that I've found, actually. Um, and this brown one is uh, one that I had to order online. I think I got it off of Amazon for uh, five or six bucks. But it's really uh, rare to find a P203 at retail, at least around where I live. And so this is now my completed set of retail P200 series that you can get in the United States that come in all the classic colors. So the P209 is in yellow, and the P207 is in this baby blue. And you can get two P205s at retail. You can get it in forest green or burgundy, and then the P203 is in brown. And so I finally completed my retail set of P200 series pencils in all the lead size. I'll go ahead and write with the P203 so you can see it. So Pentel P203 comes in brown. Sometimes you want that thinner lead size. And I now have a complete set of retail for P209, 07. I have both 05s and the 03. Okay, so... Really excited that I was finally able to complete this set, especially because of this P203, because a 0.3 millimeter uh, Pentel Sharp is really difficult uh, to find. And so there's that first one. Next, I completed my Target Pastel set. I don't think that this is unique to Target. I think you can get these at Walmart and other big box retailers as well. But for a little over a year now, they've been selling P207s for 5 bucks at... Uh, big box stores and I had been slowly accumulating them over time because when these first came out I wasn't too keen on 0.7 millimeter lead but I've actually come to really appreciate 0.7 millimeter for general writing because it really reduces the chance that the lead is going to break and speaking of lead I am going to be reviewing lead here coming up in a little bit. I ordered a wide variety of a, of a bunch of different varieties to supplement what I already had from Jet Pens. And so uh, stay tuned for a lead review of a wide variety of different grades. Uh, but since uh, investigating the pastel, the pastel set, the first one that I got is orange because I really like orange. And then I got green because I really like green. And then I decided, well, why don't I just collect all the rest of them and have a complete set because uh, sharp sets are sort of a, something that I've really become interested in. And so here they all are, orange and green. And this is, um, it's like a pinkish purple and then aquamarine and then you have like a rose gold reddish color as well. And so these are all available at big box stores. They sell for five bucks. It's a really good value for a mechanical pencil because if you take care of it and you, if you can... Uh, carried around without the lead sleeve stabbing you. It's a mechanical pencil that's going to last you for a really long time. And so it may be more expensive than some of the basic mechanical pencils out there, but the Sharp series is really going to last you. And so there's the Pastel series for Sharp. I'm going to use the orange one right with it here. This is Pentel Sharp P207. And this is the Big Box Pastel set. That I've completed. Now we're not done with Sharp series. You can tell that I've sort of been working on my Sharp pencils for quite some time, and there are two pencils that I received in very nice gift boxes. I had to order these from South Korea. You can get these in the U.S., but they're much more expensive to buy here in the U.S. Amazon, they're like $25, uh, and I haven't checked uh, online retailers here in the U.S. much, but um, when you order them from South Korea, you got to wait a couple of weeks to get them. But they're like in the $13 to $15 range off of eBay or other uh, online sellers from South Korea or Japan. And so when you open up the gift box, what I have here is the Gold Accents series of Sharp. And I like these 
not only because of the gold accents, but also because it comes in some color varieties that most sharps are not available in. And so uh, the one on the bottom is a blood red with gold accents, and then you can't go wrong with the classic uh, jet black with gold accents. And so this is a limited series, meaning that they only uh, produce them for a short period of time. And that's one of the things that I've really enjoyed about collecting mechanical pencils is that since I like these Pentel Sharps so much, this is an example of a model where they really come out with a lot of really interesting uh, limited editions because it's a, a beloved pencil and has been since the early 60s. And so this is the Gold Accent series. It comes in three more colors. It comes in navy blue, it comes in white, and it comes in royal purple. And I would eventually like to collect all of those. Uh, but um, in the short term, you know, it depends upon what the funding is. And I had a larger priority here that just came out from Retro 51 that I'll show you in a minute. And so this is Pentel Sharp P205 Limited Edition with gold accents. Obviously, most Pentel series pencils come with silver accents. So it may be a little difficult to see on the video here, but silver versus gold. You can sort of see it at the edge of the paper there. Okay. And then, yeah, I collect mechanical pencils, and I love mechanical pencils, but I also love the company Retro 51. And Retro 51 came out with their new line of products for the year. And I was on pins and needles about their pencils. They tend not to produce as many pencils. And I'm usually disappointed and was unfortunately disappointed in their pencils collection because they aren't really a mechanical pencil manufacturer, okay? Um, I think that they're just trying to snag another part of the market. Uh, their new mechanical pencil is a legal pad, a yellow legal pad uh, printed mechanical pencil. And, you know, it, it looks okay. And, and uh, it doesn't really speak to me, unfortunately. But what does speak to me tremendously is they came out with their new Tornado Tribute uh, series, which is engraved with numbers. And so uh, since I'm an astronomy teacher, I teach many aspects of science, but astronomy is one of the ones that I uh, particularly love. Um, they came out with uh, Project Apollo series, uh, Tornado Tribute, numbered edition. And... Um, Let's go ahead and open it up. Of course, Retro 51 products come in these wonderful cylinders. Here's my Retro 51 um, Lincoln pencil that I got for my birthday for my wife, and I love it a lot. And then this is the Apollo series case, and as you, it just basically has images from Apollo 11. Um, actually, these might be images from several of the missions, not just Apollo 11. Uh, and so you open it up. And, oh, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. So, you know, I'm not really keen on pens because I don't write with pens too often, but it can't hurt to have a nice pen. And so as I go along in this, you can see that there's an image of an astronaut on the moon saluting with the command module orbiting the moon up there and American flag and the lunar module in the background. And on the bottom... It says Project Apollo 1961 to 72, and then United States of America along the top ring up here. This is a numbered edition, so mine is number 384. And when you twist it, it's got a really nice twist action, really strong pocket clip. These are just really uh, high-quality writing utensils. It's got a lacquered finish, and so I don't think it's going to rub off at all. And this one is a rollerball, and so this is the... Retro 51 Tornado Tribute Numbered Edition. This is called Apollo. Oops, and I spelled Apollo incorrectly. Yikes. Apollo. Okay. And this one happens to come as a rollerball. I'm thinking about retrofitting it as a ballpoint because you can get Parker style ballpoint refills that are more like an emulsion ink so that it's not as skippy and not as um, uh, uh, light of a pen mark as you would for a normal ballpoint pen. It's uh, darker and writes more smoothly and so I'm thinking about converting this to a ballpoint instead of rollerball. Rollerball is awesome because you can see that you have this really dark black ink, but the problem with rollerball, I'll take one for the team, 
you're writing with your rollerball, and then you move your hand over it, and and this paper is sucking it up really, really well. And so I'm not getting any smearing on this paper at all, but certain papers, when you write on them, uh, the ink sits on top of the page, and it smears, and I think I'm going to avoid a lot of that smearing if I go to a ballpoint pen. And so this is a gorgeous piece. Um, I knew as soon as I saw when they released their, their new products a couple weeks ago that I needed to have this, and I'm really going to enjoy it, using it during uh, the space exploration part of uh, my astronomy class uh, at the high school that I teach at. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just an awesome piece. And so there are my recent acquisitions. This is part two for 2016, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like the Pentel Sharp series, there's all sorts of collection possibilities with that series, and I've sort of decided to go all in on the Sharp series in terms of collectability. And so check these things out. Also, you can check out uh, Ro uh, Retro 51 uh, tribute pens and pencils and uh, other Tornado pencils on their website or on their Facebook page. Uh, and so check it out. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed these recent acquisitions. <laughs>